Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back once again to another Fallout 4 settlement build. Today we're going to be checking out the gun shop, which I must admit is probably our smallest boxcar build that we've done so far. But to kind of counteract that, I've chosen to hook it on to the general goods store that we made recently. And I think that helped out a little bit in terms of, you know, giving us some extra space. But like always guys, any mods I use are going to be listed down in the description. But other than that, thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys enjoy the build. So like usual guys, we'll start out here on the outside of the build, and I'm sure a lot of you can probably tell that we really didn't have a whole lot of room for any big major decorative items, say like we had on the general goods store, or even the hospital for instance. But that being said, we still had a decent amount of space for, you know, some tiny knickknacks and other small decorative items like the minigun up there on the platform and let's hope that thing is inactive now just in case some crazy wastelander tries to climb up there and just mow everyone down and obviously same thing goes for the assault rifle I just imagine that all the weapons on the outside of the build are completely inactive and I think decommissioned might be a better way to put it just in case someone does steal it they're not really gonna get away with anything too crazy or absurd but even though we didn't have a whole lot of room, aside from the guns and whatnot, I still tried to throw in some other decorative items to fill in the blank space and just give the build a bit more character, like the barrels to the left, the cigarette machine, and then the chair to the right, which I'm sure you could imagine maybe guards sit in from time to time. That way no one tries to rob the gun store ever. But honestly, I think that's just about everything for the outside of the build, at least on the front. Uh, maybe aside from a few posters on the wall to the right. Once again, just to add a little more detail. But I guess that being said, we'll go ahead and make our way around to the back. So as you can see, we're sort of on Main Street at the moment. Or at least that's what I'd call it. And this here is just another way to get inside the build. And it's actually the main route that the store owner would take. Because it not only allows you to get inside the gun store but also the general goods store as well. And the whole story behind this is that both places are just kind of co-owned by the same person, or I guess maybe two people who have a pretty decent relationship. But you'll see we have the main door here, a small sign that says do not enter. And for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and break that rule really quick. And over here, you'll see this is the main entrance into the general goods store and it really did help us save a lot of room combining these two buildings because for each of the box cars I did try to add a bed and I mean really like a whole living area in each one of them and if we would have had to do that inside this one single cart right here that honestly would have been a pain in the ass so luckily we had the space in this one which we had used previously to do all that good stuff but inside here you can see we have a decent amount of stuff looks like the carpet there is glitching out but we'll ignore that for now so for the main counter you'll see there's a deal in the process of going down at the moment hence the shotgun and shotgun shells just lying out along with a few caps but other than those I think I'd say everything else pretty much lies over here on the right hand side of the build and on this side, we do have a pretty decent sized weapon locker. Even got a weapon inside one of the cubbies. And I think if you wanted to add even more detail than this, you might want to try throwing some explosives inside the lower cubbies, such as a mini nuke or... I'd say even some mines or grenades might look just as good. And we've also got a big giant bag full of weapons up above the lockers. And the rest of the things are all the way over here in the back. So you can see we have a few shelves full of ammo and even a few more guns. And there's also this bucket with a laser rifle inside. So just throwing little tiny things like that around can really kind of give the build a bit more decoration and style. And last but not least, we do have some weapon display boards, the fan to give the place some light and a couple more shelves and boxes just to hold even more weapons and ammo and as for this build that's pretty much gonna do it like I said it was a very small one but I did try cramming as much crap in here as we could 
So like I said guys, that'll do it for today, but hopefully you did enjoy the video nonetheless. Even though I'm willing to bet that this build might have been as small as the little tiny fallout shelter we did not too long ago. But that being said, if you have any ideas for future builds we could try out, please let me know. I think next up we might be trying something like a diner or even a barber shop since we never really have tried one of those. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching. Like I said, hopefully you did enjoy the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.